Hi everyone, I am up on the South Downs on the south of England, uh, East Sussex. I've just parked up in Ditchling Beacon Car Park. I've got these fantastic conditions today. Uh, was up on this sort of up on the downs, it's not that high, I think it's only a couple of hundred meters high, but we've got this low cloud and it's just hanging on. And uh, so I've been waiting for conditions like this for a while. And every now and again, I think it's going to kind of burn through. So I was watching another video by a guy called Mark Bowering. I think that's how I pronounce his name, but I'll put a list, uh, put a link up to his channel up here. And he only released a, a video a couple of days ago about uh, a dew pond up on Ditchling Beacon. So I thought I'd come and find it myself. I had to come down to Lewis which is about 30 miles away from where I live and this is only a couple of miles out of Lewis so I thought I'd come over see if I can find this uh, dew pond and possibly get a shot now you can't see a lot today but I think it might make for an okay shot but we'll give it a go So there it is behind me, it's slightly different from how it looked in Mark's video, but uh, I'm going to have a walk around and see whether it's worth uh, setting up and getting a shot. So I think with this we've got such simple conditions today. The lighting is flat, even, we've got this sort of misty conditions that I just want to kind of obviously keep that and try and add in some of these really graphical elements of um, having a hawthorn there that's kind of grown with the conditions that it's, it's up on the top of this hill, obviously windswept and the branches kind of have dictated that it, it's going that way. And so I'm going to try and make a feature of that and maybe try and keep the other hawthorn uh, in the background, a bit of the dew pond. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to be working on my on my large format, so I've only got uh, a 135 mil lens, which is kind of a standard lens, around about the kind of 40 to 50 mil mark. So it's not particularly long. I could do a little bit more length just to go straight across, but I've also got my wide angle as well, so um, I will be using that. So yeah, let's get set up. I'm trying to compose the shot on my phone first because it has crop marks for my lenses. And um, once I've worked out the angle, then I can move my camera into position. So I need to keep every little element. We've got this nice little straggly bit on the end here. So I don't want to clip that off. So I think it's around about here. So I'm going to change the lens over for my wide angle and uh, having to unscrew this. So I've had to come back a little bit just to uh, get my composition right. So I've deliberately kept this shot low because I want the shape of this tree to be quite pronounced against the, the mist uh, behind. If I went up higher I'd have some of these branches just coming into the grass and by keeping it low I can keep them all with a, a mist background so it just enhances the, the shape of this tree. I don't really want to go any longer than about half a second here so because there's a bit of movement in these branches um, but we're losing 
the light we're getting right towards the end of the day anyway we've got about a four stop range the bottom of the tree is about eight and a half f eight and a half and the, the sky is about 32 and a half so there's about four stops so i want to try and keep as much detail as i can in the in the tree so i think i'm going to go about uh f16 so half a second at f16 yeah that's what i'm going for You're right, got enough room there. <laughs> oh, hand out, Poochie. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, you stay there. Right. Okay, right. Come here, lad. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Barney, come here. Come here. Wait. Wait. Come here. So, boy. Good boy. So I've just done one more shot here on the wide angle lens. It's looking through. I've got all these branches going across, so they're filling the frame, and then we've got the other hawthorn in the back there I was having real trouble even focusing on it but um, focused on the tree gone a little little bit more on my exposure it's more like I kind of did it bulb so it's gone over a second it's between about a second and a half and two seconds at uh, at 22 so we'll see how that goes uh, it looks nice in the back of the camera but I was having real problems even focusing because um, trying to keep it sharp on the tree but uh, we'll see that's me done for another one thanks very much for watching again and uh, please leave me a comment let me know what you thought of the photos and uh, I will see you next time. Cheers, bye.